Magandang umaga mga bata. Kumusta kayo? Baba tayo ay handa na upang matuto. Ang video na ito ay aking ginawa upang lubos ng maunawaan at maintindihan kung ano po ang topic natin ngayon ko. Welcome sa ating week 3. Ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa prepare service station and equipment. Enjoy! Air service station and equipment. These are the competencies that you are going to learn after the discussion. First, stock supplies necessary for service. Two, clean, wipe, and put tableware and dining room equipment in their proper places. Check the cleanliness and condition of all tables, tableware, and dining room equipment. Four, Fill water pitchers and ice buckets. 5. Refill condiments and sauce bottles. Wipe, clean, and dry the necks and tops of the bottles. 6. Promote special tent cards and similar special displays. 7. Check equipment and prepare for service. 8. Apply food hygiene and occupational health and safety measures. These are the common supplies and accessories that we usually use in our restaurant. First, let us define the following. We have table appointments. Second, we have the dinnerware. Next, we have the flatware, cutlery, hallowware, and glassware. Let us first define what is table appointments. Those are the implements used for dining. Table appointments also refers to all things placed on a bare table surface. Also, the first the implements used for dining, which consists of linen, flatware, dinnerware, hallowware, beverage wear, and other wares and settings. Let us talk about the dinnerware. Dinnerware, this is usually used in serving main courses, salads, breads, and other specialized hot and cold desserts. Historically, dishes have also been made of wood, metals, and even animal skulls. Modern dishes may be made of earthenware, china glass, durable plastics, such as melamine. Nowadays, disposable dishes are made of paper, styrofoam, or lightweight plastic. This is an example of dinnerware. such as knives, forks, and spoons. This is flatware. Means all forms of spoon and forks. Next, let us talk about cutlery. It refers to knives and other cutting implements. Generally, all types of knives and other cutting implements used in the dining area. However, cutlery is the common term hotel industry to refer to spoons, knives, and forks. This is an example of cutlery. We have here hallowware. Hallowware, it refers to the vessels or serving dishes and accessories 
which are made usually of silver that are hollow or concave. So always remember the word hollow or concave. This is an example of hollow wear. It is a given name to items like teapots, bowls, trays, and candle holders that are made from a metal substance. Lastly, usually used in beverages, drinks, or any liquids. So, in the field of bartending, liquids are divided into two. Those are alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Glassware has different classifications. Those are tumbler, footed wear, and step wear. This is an example of glassware. Let us elaborate the term table appointments. So table appointments, those are items in a to serving the meal, that is what we call table appointments. It's classified into five, those are the linens, dinnerware, flatware, beverage wear, and hardware. Let us define linens. Linens cover tables to protect table surface. Simple lang po, pinakocover po natin sa ating table just to protect the surface of the table. Dinnerware. Dinnerware refers to the plates, cups, saucers, bowls including china, stoneware, earthenware, pottery, and glass wrapping. Flatware. Flatware is also known as the what we call silverware. It refers to the forks, knives, spoons, but not always make, made from silver, but usually stainless steel. So have you ever wondered bakit natin madalas ginagamit? ang stainless steel when it comes to the flatware. Actually, sa lahat ng klase ng table appointments. Because stainless steel have five characteristics. Those are the what we call strength, cleanliness, aesthetics, corrosion resistance, and durability. Strength. Why strength? Because it retains at both very high and very low temperatures. Kaya kahit mainit man po o malamig man po, ilagay natin o paggamitan natin ng stainless steel, steel, kaya pa rin po niyang makasurvive when it comes to the heat and the low temperatures. Cleanliness, because stainless steel is one of the most hygienic materials and does not support the growth of bacteria and other pathogens. Aesthetics. There's no denying that stainless steel is just plain good to look. Next, corrosion resistance. This metal stands strong against corrosion, rusts, water stains, and more. Next, we have the beverage wear. Beverage wear is also known as the what we call glass wear. It composed of three kinds: so the tumblers, stem wear, and footed wear. So tumblers do not have stem. Yung pinaghahawakan mismo ng ating uh, mga baso, wala po siya nun. Stemware has three parts. Those are the bowl, stem, and foot. Example po nito will be the water glasses and the wine glasses. So later on, I will elaborate to you the different, different parts of the stemware. Footedware, simple lang po, wala po siya stem. So siya po ay diretsong bowl and the Next, we have the hollow wear. Hollow wear includes the bowls and two rings used to serve food and pitchers, pots used to serve beverages. So we have here linens. So linens used to cover tables to protect table surface, beautification, and insurance of the fitter's surface. Generally, fabric household goods intended for table use such as tablecloths. So, kailangan palitan po siya every day. There are different types of linen. First one is the what we call tablecloths. 
Table cloths hold pieces of table linens used to cover tables for dining. Usually, ang sukat po nito is 1 to 16 inches to sit-down meals and floor length to buffet service. This is an example of table cloth. Another example of table cloth, yung po yung nasa ilalim. Ito po. At pag sinabi naman pong top cloth, this is what we call over here. We have table runners. Table runners, long, narrow, decorative strips of cloth used on bare tables. So this is an example of table cloths. So usually, table, clo uh, table runners made from cotton, linen, silk, polyester, wool, mesh, and paper. Next, we have placements. So this is small rectangular mats used to hold the entire place center. So ang placements po natin, there are different shapes when it comes to place, place aspect, round, rectangular, and usually small, wherein it covers the entire piece. This is an example of placements. So usually, placements made from denim, cotton, synthetic, satin, and many more. Next, we have the silence cloth. A pad, usually a flannel or felt used under the cloth. So this one is primarily Set as a cover to line your table, protect against the scratches and things. Things that produce or the sound produced when wear or any table appointments are accidentally collide, hit, or bump from serving place and glassware. So it is also 70% polyester and 30% cotton. So generally, the purpose of the silence cloth will be to prevent the clutter or dishes against the table. This is an example of silence cloth. This is the silence cloth nasa ilalim just to prevent yung ingay na mapuproduce po ng ating mga table appointments. Next, we have the table napkin. Table napkin, this is a square pieces of cloth or paper used to wipe fingers and lips when dining. So usually it is made from nylon, satin, lightweight, cotton, linen fabric, and silk. These are examples of the table napkins. As you can see, but even cold po niyan. So as time goes by, power the discussion, uh, we will discuss the different table napkin only. There are different classification of table napkin. So first one, we have the what we call dinner napkin. Second, luncheon or breakfast napkin. Third, tea napkins or cocktail napkin. So, iba't ibang klase, iba't iba rin po ang measurement. So, dinner napkin, it measures 18 to 24 inches square. Ang luncheon or breakfast napkin measures 9 up to 12 inches square. Ang tea napkin measures 6 to 9 inches. Next will be... Cocktail napkin it measures 4 to 6 inches. Next, let us proceed to the dinner. So, dinnerware usually used in serving main courses, salads, breads, and other specialized hot and cold dessert. Actually, the dinnerware is also known as Chinese ware. So, it is used to hold food in dining or for serving. There are different kinds of dinnerware. First one will be platter. So sabi ko nga sa inyo, different sizes, different functions. So platter comes in 16 inches, 14 inches, 12 inches, 
10 inches and 9 inches in diameter. So it comes in round and oval shapes that are used to hold several portions of the This is what we call the platter. The oval shape platter and the round shape platter. Next, we have here the place or show plate or charger. So it is a 12 inches plate used to as underliner for formal sit down and used to serve neither food nor used for eating. Dinner plate. A 10 inches plate where it is used to serve the entry dish for the main course. Fish plate. The so fish plate it measures 8 to 9 inches. So, siyempre, it is used to serve fish. Next, we have the luncheon or breakfast plate. It is a 9 inches plate. Usually used for multiple purposes like informal day, daily dining, breakfast, or other plate or soup bowls. Next, soup bowl or soup plate is a 9 inches plate wherein it is intended for soup, cereal, salad, and dessert. It usually goes with an underliner plate, just like this one. This is what we call underliner. So always remember when we talk about underliner, ito po yung nalagin natin sa ilalim ng ating mga table appointments. Next, we have the salad plate, a 7 to 8 inches plate. So, intended for serving salads, desserts, or maybe used as underliner for stent beverages, cereal, or soup food. Next, bread and butter plate, a 6 inches plate, wherein it is used for serving breads, molded salads, rice, or desserts. Cereal bowl, a 6 inches deep cheese dish wherein it is used in serving cereals, dessert, or rice, or sometimes for salads with dipping sauce or desi. So these are the other types of dinnerware. So we have here the what we call bread and butter plate. So ginagamit natin yan when it comes to serving bread and butter with butter knife. Next, we have the salad plate, we have the dinner plate, we have the soup bowl, and the rim soup bowl. Pag sinabi natin yung rim, meron po siyang ganito na rim, or style na ganito po pag natin sa bowl. Another, we have the dinner plate, luncheon plate, salad plate, and the bread plate. Okay, so pinakamalaki natin. This picture will be the dinner plate. So, kung, kung tatandaan nyo po, ang charger, so isa rin po yan sa may pinakamalaking size ng platter. So, we have here the what we call flatware. So, flatware, it refers to table utensils used to serve and eat food such as forks, spoons, butter knives, and plates, all of which are fairly flat design. So it is categorized into two. We have the fork and the spoon. So fork, there are different types of fork. So we have oyster fork. We have the dessert fork, salad fork, this one, fish fork, and the dinner fork. Another type of fork and spoon, we have the sugar spoon, this one, coffee spoon, we have the teaspoon, soup spoon, soup spoon, malaki po ang kanyang pinakaulo. Next, dessert fork, we have dessert knife, dessert spoon, dinner knife, dinner fork, and dinner spoon. We have also another set of fork and spoon. 
we have the salt spoon, salad fork. So, meron po siyang pa-style na tinidor. So, para po, it will be easy for us to serve for or to get salad. Next, we have the serving spoon. So, syempre, mas malaki po yung kanyang pinakaulo. Kasi, it is used para po makapuha tayo ng marami. That's why it is called serving spoon. Fruit fork, ang identity, identity po niyan is dalawa lang po yung kanyang tanis. We have the cake fork, tatlo lang. Fish fork, apat. Fish knife, butter knife, soda spoon, ice cream spoon. Dinner fork, it is used to eat the main entry. So, kung ang sinar po sa atin ay may meat, may chicken, may fish, or whatsoever, it is usually, we usually use the dinner fork. So, isa to sa mga hindi nabawala pagdating sa isang table set up. Fish fork is usually smaller than the meat fork is meant when eating fish. So, definitely, kaya nga tinawag po siya ng fish fork kasi pagkagamit lang po natin sa kanya ay fish. Next, salad or dessert fork. It has flattered slightly over times. Times po, ito po yan. So, four times po yan. Then, those of a dining fork used when vegetables are served as salads. Scargot or seafood fork. So, these are the fork made of stainless steel which are used with escargot dishes. Escargot means ito po yung mga shell. Cocktail fork, this is a small fork like trident used for spearing cocktail garnishes such as olives. Plate fork, it is narrower and slightly shorter than a salad fork that is used in serving cakes and other pastries. So kung kayo ikakain ng pie, slice of cake. So, ito po yung ginagamit natin. Sa mga newlywed, yun, ito po ang ginagamit nila pag sila ay kakain na ng kanila. Salad serving fork, it is used to serve food as tossed salad. So, yun po yung ginagamit natin when it comes to serving salad. Carving fork, it is used in conjunction with carving knife, specifically designed in carving meat. So, when it comes to cutting food, kasi there are different settings na ginagamit po natin uh, ganito. Um, with the use of the carving knife, to join first po sila para po hindi magalaw yung meat pag kinakat natin. And that's why we have the carving fork. So, there are different kinds pa rin. We have the salad fork. Just a review lang po. Dinner forks, the dinner knife, teaspoon, soup spoon, tablespoon, pierced tablespoon. Pag sinabi pierced, butas po yung gitna. Cold meat fork, sauce ladle, and the butter knife. We have the spoon. So spoon, we have the serving spoon. It is much larger then a spoon used for eating. It is used to move food from the main dish to individual plates. Kasi may mga pagkain na sinaserve dati sa atin na may uh, na may sabaw or soup, ang tawagin natin. So, para po maiwasan natin ang food contamination. So, gumagamit tayo ng serving spoon from the main food going to the individual plates. So, Yan po ang gagamitin natin. We have the dinner spoon. A spoon with an oval spoon used for luncheons and dinners. So, ang kapartner po niyan is the dinner fork kasi po sila po ang madalas na ginagamit pagdating sa iba't ibang klase ng table setting. Okay, just like in luncheon. Relish spoon. A small usually pierced spoon used for serving Relish, olive, and pickles. So, this one, nasa gitna po, this is what we call the olives, this one is the relish, and this one is the what we call the pickles. 
Tan po natin madalas ginagamit ang pickles kung kayo nagluluto. So, ginagamit din po natin yan sa mga Shanghai. So, sa iba't ibang po tayo. Okay? So, bakit may butas? Kasi po, para po, uh, hindi na hassle para sa atin na i-drain siya. Okay? So, usually, laman lang naman po talaga madalas ang ating kinakain. Next, iced tea spoon. A long-handled teaspoon used for drinks served in a tall glass such as iced tea. Next tayo, the parfait. It is used for stirring iced tea in tall glasses, which has the same purposes like the long drink. Next, we have the boiled spoon. So, boiled spoon used for boiled spoon or soup, rather. Na pag sinabi natin, boiled soup, it is a clear soup made from the lean beef. Simple lang po, yun po yung pinakuluan or sabaw na pinakuluan natin. Bawa, pinakuluan chicken, pinakuluan mm, baboy. Yun. So that is what we call the boiled spoon. Soup spoon, it is used when soup is served. So simple lang po. So, and there are different kinds of uh, soup, by the way. So, may thick soup tayo, the boiling soup. So, depende po sa prefer ng ating kids. We have the tablespoon. It is a larger than a teaspoon or a dessert spoon used in serving food at the table and as a standard measuring you in recipe. So, um, if you are common with these two, so, ito po ay madalas natin ginagamit kapag tayo ay nagluluto. So, usually, yung sinasabi sa recipe, one teaspoon, one tablespoon, so ito po yun. So, teaspoon is used to stir hot beverages just like ng coffee or coffee na ito sa mo po ng creamer. So, usually, yung ginagamit natin. Demitas spoon, it has a varying sizes depending on the size of the demitas cup and saucer. Isa to sa pinakamaliit na klase na ng table appointments when it comes to the spoon. Demitas spoon. Cereal spoon. Large spoon similar to a dessert spoon. Ginagamit po natin yan for cereal. Next, we have the ice cream spoon. So, used for serving ice cream, also known as ice cream scoop. So, sa nun natin yan, madalas nakikita, siyempre sa mga nagbibenta po ng ice cream. So, there are certain restaurants na nag-offer ng buffet style of serving. So, variety of food. So, syempre, hindi nagwawala lalo sa mga Pilipino yung ice cream. So, isa yan sa mga sinasur, but isa yan sa mga ginagamit natin when it comes to serving ice cream. We have dessert spoon. It is an oval-shaped spoon that has the length midway between the length of the tablespoon and teaspoon, which is primarily used when dessert is served. So, definitely, it is used when it comes to dessert. So, there are different um, types of spoon. We have the coffee spoon. So, lagi po siya kasama ng coffee cup and saucer. Tea spoon, soup spoon, na kasama lagi ng soup bowl. Sa teaspoon, the ice cream spoon, dessert spoon, and last one will be the tablespoon. Let us talk about cutlery or knife. So, knife, there are different kinds of knife. So, we have here the steak knife. So, commonly used pagdating po sa mga meat. Dinner knife, cheese knife. So, meron po siyang ganito. So, yan po ay ginagamit natin when it comes to after slicing and then we are going to pick the cheese or slice cheese. So, ito po ang ginagamit natin. So, fish knife, you have the dessert knife and the butter knife. So, mapapansin ko po sila, magkakaiba sila when it comes to the point or the upper part of the knife. Next, we have here also, uh, kung papansin nyo, there are different kinds of knife here. Iba ko, familiar kayo kasi yung iba ginagamit sa kitchen. We have here the cook's knife, utility knife, kitchen knife, santoku knife. Peeling knife. So, ang peeling knife, ginagamit natin yan when it comes to uh, peeling of the different ingredients. Slicing knife. 
honing knife or peeling knife, level knife. So, sa mga familiar kayo dito, kapag halimbawa nasa palengk at nagtatagtag, so yun ang ginagamit. Red knife is definitely ginagamit natin when it comes to cutting different kinds of bread. Next, we have here the what we call the dinner knife. The dinner knife, a knife with either straight or serrated. Pag sinabing serrated, ibig sabihin, ito po ay uh, hindi siya yung ganitong surface. Okay? So, sinabing serrated, ito po siya. Ganyan po yung kanyang uh, pinaka-knife. Next, we have here steak knife. So, steak knife is a special knife that has a sharp tip and is a rated edge to cut thick portions of meat. So, ginagamit natin po yan kapag tayo ay magkakat na ng meat. Fish knife. It has varying shapes and sizes which are used when fish is being served. So, ano po ang kapartner na? Fish fork. Next, we have the dessert knife used for eating dessert. So, yung mga common dessert in offer po sa atin sometimes ay lechaplan, sometimes ay gulaman, sometimes um, slice of cake. So, yun po ginagamit natin. So, ano pong partner niyan? We have the dessert fork. Pwede rin pong gamitan natin ang dessert spoon. Depende sa klase ng dessert. Cheese knife. So, used for cutting cheese. Pasty or pie server. A short-handled, elongated, and lift-shaped spatula used for serving cakes and pastries. As you can see from... Kung kayo ay nakapag-take ng, ng bread and pastry, ito ang madalas na ginagamit when it comes to serving pies and pastries. Carving knife. It has straight edge, a shorter, thinner, and wider blade, which enables to cut the slices of meat. That is what we call the carving knife. Next, we have here the butter knife. So, or also known or spreader, also known as a spreader. It is a small blunt knife used for butter. Butter server, a small broad spatula, bigger than the spreader used for serving butter. So, iba kong pangkuha natin sa pang-spread natin ng butter. Next, we have here the what we call hallowware. Hallowware refers to the vessels or serving dishes and accessories which are made usually of silver that are hollow or concave. Or sa Tagalog, yung maluko. So, example natin, will be picture. So, definitely, it is cold as the water container. So, ginagamit natin yan when it comes to refilling water. Coffee pot. So, siguro familiar kayo sa coffee maker. So, this is the container for brewed coffee. Teapot. So, mapapansin nyo pinagkaiba nila. So, bakit, bakit ganyan yung kanyang itsura? Kasi just to maintain the temperature of the tea. So, it is a deep round dish which is used for serving. Sauce bowl. Yan. So, a container for serving sauces. So, madalas ang ginagamit natin nito or ginagamit natin nito will be the brown sauce. Escargot or escargot tong, it is a holder used for eating snake. So, yan po kung paano siya ginagamit. So, as you can see, so, inuhold po natin yan. So, kung sa atin, pag tayo kumakain ng suso, ang gamit natin, instead ng escargot uh, fork, so, ginagamit natin siya ng escargot tong and escargot Work. So, tayo pagbible or any kind of thing. So, we have here soup ladle. It is a ladle for soups that has a variety of shapes and sizes depending on the deep bowls, whether it is round, over, or fluted. 
So, simple lang po, kapag kayo ay bumibili halimbawa na, na palamig, ito madalas yung nakikita. Ito. So, definitely, pagdating sa restaurant, so ginagamit natin yan when it comes to serving soup. So, gravy spoon, it comes with a sauce spoon, which is used in courses with gravy and other sauces. So, it always... Um, combined with the gravy spoon and the uh, what we call sauce spoon. Next, sugar tongue. A small tongue used for serving sugar cubes. Next, we have the ice tongue. Definitely, so, ginagamit natin ang mga tongue na to. We, when it comes to serving or picking cube of ice. Silver food cover. So, a cover for a dish easily removed when it is about to serve. So, sa mga movie, ito yung madalas natin nakikita na kung saan kapag ika ay nasa royal family at you're going to eat your breakfast or your lunch or dinner. So, bago nyo kainin, nakaserve mo na ito into a silver food cover and then kapag isaserve na, tsaka siya tatanggal. Next, we have the candelabra. So, candelabra, an ornamental branched candlestick holder for more than one candle or long. Okay, this is the chaffing dish. Container for hot dishes in a buffet. Where in sa ilalim po nito, makikita nyo, meron po siyang dalagyan ng kandila. So, hindi yung kandila yung matatangkad or matataas na kandila na bibili. No. So, talagang meron po tayong nabibiling kandila na good for... Uh, when it comes to buffet set up. Salt and pepper shaker. Bakit po may ganito? Para po sa mga klase ng guests or customer natin na hindi satisfied with the taste of our food. So, gusto nila maalat. Gusto nila may pepper na kasama. So, that is the time for them to add salt and pepper to the food. Silver oval platter. So, syempre, ginagamit po natin yan when it comes to serving food. Next, ice cream scooper. Used for dishing out ice cream or other soft food. Ice scooper. We have the ice scooper. Stainless steel used to scoop or moving crushed ice. So, kapag halimbawa kayo ay bibili ng mga shake, ng mga milk tea. So, ito yung madalas na ginagamit nila to scoop ice. Ashtray, yes. Kasi there are certain customers or guests na nag-uyosi or nagsisigarilo. So, para hindi pa kalat-kalat yung upos nila o yung ano nila pag nag ano sila, na take na kanilang uh, cigarettes. So, it is a receptacle for us. Typically from combustible consumer products such as cigarettes and cigarettes. Glassware. So, we have here the glassware. Sabi ko sa inyo, there are different parts of the glassware. First one will be the rim. Next, we have here the bowl. The bowl is this one. Ang stem ay ito pong pinaghahawakan natin. And this will be the what we call foot. So, there are different classification. When it comes to glassware, we have the tumbler, footed wear, and stand wear. Ang tumbler po natin, it is a bowl without stem or foot and its side may be straight or widened. So, a common example po natin sa tumbler, those are the rock glass, the callings, the high bowl, and the juice glass. Footed wear, bowl is attached to the base or the foot without stem. So, example po natin dito will be the brandy balloon or beer goblet. Next, stemware. Has all three parts. Those are the stem, wherein it connects the bowl with the paste. So, example po natin dito will be the red wine glass, white wine glass, and the champagne sauce. So, let us talk about the uh, wine glass or white wine glass. It is used in serving white wine. So, generally narrow but not as narrow as champagne flow. It has straight or tulip-shaped sides, allowing the chilled with to retain its temperature. It has a smaller mouth to prolong the coolness 
of the chill. Next, we have the red wine glass used in serving red wine. So it is characterized by its rounder. The mouth is wider, which gives the wine a chance to breath. So papansin niyo po, magkaiba po ang kanilang itsura pagdating sa bowl ng white wine glass and the red wine. Next, we have this here, whiskey sour glass. For whiskey, sardines, rum, or brandy sardines. Next, the brandy snifter. So for brandy, cognac, armaniac, and fine champagne. Collins glass. So it is usually used when it comes to pieces. Used for long drinks, pieces, and fresh food juices. So usually... Ito po ay ginagamit, ginagamit natin when it comes to the soda as well. Margarita glass for champagne cocktails. So, bakit po siya may ganito, Sir Wim? So, dyan po natin madalas nilalagay ang kanyang mga garnish. So, ano yung mga common garnish ng mga to? Lemon. Depende sa klase ng inumin. We have the lobo glass or rock glass or, or, or old-fashioned glass. So, used for serving liquor or on the rock. So when we talk about on the rock, so meaning over ice or cocktail. Sa so may kasamang ice yan, any kind of alcoholic drink, that is what we call on the rock. Champagne fruit, for serving champagne or sparkling wine, uh, it is commonly characterized by a long stem with a tall, narrow bowl on top. So shape keeps the sparkling wine attractive and inviting during its consumption. So, bakit siya tinawag na float kasi ang kanya pong bowl ay unusual and unlike po sa uh, ibang klase ng stem. Yeah. Champagne float. Next tayo sa cocktail or martini glass. For martini Manhattan, Rob Roy, Rust Topper, Pink Jean, and Jean Slate. So, after, it is also has a cone-shaped pool and a stem above a flat base used to serve cocktails. So, uh, examples of drinks na ginagamitan natin ng cocktail will be the Rusty Nail, Gibson, and Negroni. So, have a glass, a glass tumbler which holds the same volume of liquid as Collins. So, used to serve high glass cocktails and other mixed drinks like juices and soft drinks. So, if you're familiar with the tequila sunrise, so highball is usually used when it comes to serving that kind of alcoholic. Bakit? Kasi makikita po natin yung difference between the color of the mixes na ginagamit natin sa tequila sunrise. The Pilsner glass, so used to serve various types of light beers. So, just like no, iniinom natin or if you're familiar with the red horse, the Pilsen, so ginagamit natin yan. So it is also intended to uh, make, to showcase the color, clarity, and to maintain a nice head for the place. So water goblet, isa to sa mga beverage ware na hindi nawawala sa isang table setup. So definitely it is used for serving water. Other specialized utensils, those are the pasta server. So, ano yung mga common pasta na ginagamitan natin to ng ganito, carbonara, spaghetti. So, it will be depend upon new pesto pasta. Next, we have the cup and saucer. Hollow bowl that supports a cup. It is used to serve coffee or tea. So, lagi silang tandem ni cup and saucer. Boil on cup. So, sabi ko nga sa'yo, may boil on soup and boil on spoon. So, it is made for serving broth base and the bowl of the cup is narrower and deeper than of the cream soap bowl. So, purpose is to better retain the heat of the boiler by limiting the surface area exposed to the cooler air. So, next, the silver food cover, dome, or clutch. So, cover for a dish easily removed when it is about to serve. Water pitchers, so commonly used for serving water. Ice bucket used in serving ice cubes. So, eto tandem naman po sila or partner po sila ng ice tong. This, sometimes the ice bucket used to keep it under chill temperature when it comes to the wine. 
So, makikita nyo maiba sa mga movies or sa mga videos na nakikita nyo ang white wine ay nilalagay dyan sa ice bucket ng ice. So, why? Ba- bakit nila nilalagay ang, ang wine? Uh, wine when it to the ice bucket? Just to keep it under chill temperature. Next, care for silverware. So, syempre, kailangan laragaan din natin yung mga table appointments na yan. Sabi nga natin, it has different characteristics. Those are the aesthetics, the corrosion uh, resistance, the durability. So, ilan po yan sa mga characteristics ng silver, silverware. But we should also take good care of them. So, how? First is wash and rinse promptly. Two, dry completely and quickly. New smell detergent. Store in tarnish proof flannel bags. Use only for its intended purpose. Use a small soft brush for cleaning the crevices in ornamental silver. So this will be the natural way of cleaning silverware. So let's watch the video. be the natural way of taking good care of our um, silverware. Next we have here, how about the DIY on how to clean silver plated platform. Let's watch this.
Okay, so uh, for those two videos, as you can see, we have different materials that we use in taking good care of our silverware. The first one is the salt. Second is the baking soda, aluminum foil, hot water. So why or why you or those on those features? Why do you think baking soda is the best thing na ginamit nila when it comes to removing the rusts of the um, of those days silver okay. what do you think is the reason the first one the reason why they use baking soda it reacts into different materials just like in vinegar and it passes gas and last one it also absorbs odor so it has the characteristics in removing the rust of the stainless steel okay so next okay so this will be how to use and handle cutlery so i have here the video watch how to handle or how to hold the cutleries. Let's find out. Here's all you need to know about cutlery, how to hold, use and position. This is a fairly classic British table setting. Forks on the left hand side, knives and spoons on the right. Nothing is above the setting. You've all seen the films Titanic or Pretty Woman. We really do start using the cutlery on the outside and working our way in. Before we begin, the napkin goes on our lap. The first course is soup. Conventionally, it's held in the right hand like this. When eating soup, we scoop away from us and then eat the soup from the side of the spoon closest to us. When resting, the soup spoon should go just under the soup plate on the base plate at an angle. Imagine the plate is a clock. It goes at six o'clock. Next, fish cutlery. We hold these just like a normal knife and fork. The resting and finish positions are the same as with any knife and fork, which we'll cover now during the main course. Finger down the knife, please. It's not a pen, so don't hold it like one. When resting, place the cutlery at 340, if you imagine they are the hands of a clock. The bridge of the fork should rest over the blade of the knife. When finished, the cutlery is placed at 630 on the plate, like so. Now, there are some international variants to this. In the USA, the cutlery will be placed at a slight angle, at 420, to signal you've finished. In much of Europe, the cutlery would actually go closer to 315, with the tines of the fork facing down. Finally, the cutlery for the sweet course. Usually, we should use both a fork and a spoon, and the same rules apply. When resting like so, at 340, when finished at 6.30. Or 4, or 3.15. It's up to you. Remember, once a piece of cutlery is dirty, it never goes back on the table. My thanks to Arthur Price and Royal Crown Derby. Here's all you need to know about cutlery. Okay. In the last video, pinakita lang po kung paano ang tamang pagdalagay or paghawak ng ating table of mats. So as you can see, it also shows paano po ba ang pwesto ng ating table appointments kapag tayo ay tapos na po Definitely, kapag gamit na ang ating mga table appointments, hindi na po siya ulit pwede gamitin ng next customers. Okay? So, thank you for listening. See you for our next video lesson.